Hello, I'm Marisa Vera, and I worked with Dr. Shoulders and Jamin Yoon in the MIT Chemistry Department to perform a comparative analysis on two previously published data sets to determine the impact of ER proteostasis on viral evolution at the host pathogen interface. Viruses evolve in response to host immunity, and their evolution is limited by variants that permit proper protein folding. Both the biophysical properties of proteins and their proteostasis conditions, or the environment in which proteins are synthesized, folded, and degraded, affect which mutations are tolerated. Influenza hemagglutinin is a viral membrane protein responsible for receptor binding and fusion. HA is one of the many viral membrane proteins that folds within the host cell's endoplasmic reticulum. This protein is targeted by host antibodies, resulting in host immunity. These antibodies serve as a selection pressure, causing rapid viral evolution and decreased immunity. In order for the virus to escape antibodies, HA must have access to mutations that allow for its folding and function. Knowledge on which specific mutations allow for antibody escape can better inform vaccine and treatment development. Deep mutational scanning is a new approach for identifying these mutations. In this method, a viral library with all possible amino acid mutations is created. The library is then used to infect cells where the protein of interest can be selected for, such as in the presence of antibodies. Sequencing viruses within each environment provides the frequency of each mutation and the impact of mutations um, on protein function can be quantified as its differential selection, which is the change in frequency of a variant between um, the selection and stock mock environments. We can visualize this in sequence logo plots, where the letters represent different mutations and the height of each mutation is proportional to its differential selection. So the goal of this project is to perform a comparative analysis of two deep mutational scanning datasets. The first dataset was published in Phillips et al. 2018, where the mutational tolerance of influenza HA in different ER proteostasis environments at normal and fever-like temperatures is profiled. They found that increased temperature generally causes variant depletion, while upregulation of ER proteostasis factors generally lead to variant enrichment at both the normal and elevated temperatures. The second data set was published in Dowd et al. 2017 and is an antibody escape profile of influenza HA. I wanted to compare and analyze both data sets to study how antibody escape regions of HA respond to different folding environments. My first step was to reanalyze the Philips 2018 data set with updated software. To do this, I began with the raw sequence data of viral libraries in each environment. From this, I was able to calculate the frequency of each mutation and then determine the differential selection value. I then visualized the differential selection with sequence logo plots. When I looked at the sequence logo plots, I noticed a lot of overlap between both analyses, but there were also noticeable differences. We can ignore the heights of all the different mutations and focus only on the mutations present. For example, we can see that this F mutation found in my analysis is absent in the analysis using the older software. We can also see a similar result here. Before continuing with the comparative analysis, I needed to know why the updated software yields a distinct sequence logo plot. I spent a significant amount of time writing a script to characterize the differences between the differential selection results produced by my analysis and the original, and have been working closely with Dr. Vincent Buddy to pinpoint the cause of the observed differences. My next step would be to gain a better understanding of what causes the difference between both softwares, and then perform a comparative analysis on the data sets. Hopefully in the future, understanding how host proteostasis affects the ability of a virus to evolve and adapt can provide better insights to inform vaccine and treatment development.